Hi, I'm Harrison Marsh and today I want to talk about music stands. The first thing to say is if you haven't got one already, they are an essential purchase. Uh, my music stand is the whole focus point of my teaching room. So most people's uh, experience of music stands, uh, might be from school, is probably with something like this. They're in every single music shop um, in the world, I think, and I hate them. Uh, they fall over, they break. I know lots of people say that they're convenient because they uh, fold up small, but they're fiddly and you trap your fingers in them. So spend a little bit more money and you get a fixed table stand, um, which mine has proven pretty much indestructible. I've had it for years. It used to go out to gigs with me and it's still going strong. Um, and as you can see, it's got everything that I use on a daily basis attached to it. So for those of you that are interested, my tuner's on the top, my little uh, TC Electronic Polytune clip tuner. Um, I've always got a capo on the top of my music stand um, and it's pretty much always a G7. Um, when you go into your local music shop to buy a music stand, absolutely get a light to go on the top of it, um, just for late night practice or particularly if you start gigging, uh, it's an essential in a, in a dark room. And then, my teaching room is absolutely full of lots and lots of guitar books and music books. So I use these little page markers just to make sure that I can find which uh, piece I'm practicing on all the time. Uh, if you go down to any little craft shop, you can buy uh, bags of little tiny magnets that are really good at securing uh, pieces of music, sheet music to your music stand. Um, and making sure that they don't blow away or, or go anywhere. Uh, bulldog clips work really well as well, and I've used um, either elastic bands or, or hair ties around the top corners to secure everything. The nice thing about a solid table stand as well is the tray is deep enough to take uh, really thick music books, whereas the spidery collapsible stands aren't. So nowadays, this music stand, although I've had it for years, uh, stays in my music room because my Hercules stand is either by the front door or in the back of my car ready to go to gigs. Hercules are one of my favourite companies. Their guitar stands, their mic stands and their music stands are all absolutely fantastic. So, it fits into the bag and I can carry my music stand, my guitar and my amplifier into the gig from the car in one go. And this thing is indestructible and, I'm about to show you hopefully, goes up in seconds. There we go. And is height adjustable um, and I can tilt it slightly as well which I really like. So that's absolutely my favourite music stand but I find it useful to have one ready to go and one set up at the height I like in my music stand in my music room all the time. The only other thing that I use a lot, mainly because I sit at my computer uh, notating when I arrange a tune for guitar, uh, I normally write it out in, on pen and paper and then type it up later, is my little table stand. Uh, mine's homemade but you get these on Amazon and in, uh, in um, various bookshops and things. So that can be really useful but that tends to be when I'm notating and looking at the computer when I've not got a guitar in front of me. So I hope that's been useful. Uh, if you've got any questions about music stands and would like recommendations or advice, leave me a question in the comments section below. And please remember to like the video and look out for more we've been making in the future.